this is eight kilograms of beef brisket here. We're gonna make pho and we're gonna trigger a lot a barbecue fanatics. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a very big pot here. So this big pot right here, it's just water, maybe eight liters of water. After that foot challenge, some of y'all probably thought I'm very like, uh, had enough with foot, but I still can go for a bowl. <laughs> so eight kilograms of beef brisket in. So I did trim the fat and all around the goodness. And to make a really good stock, you need beef bones. So we got also six, kilograms of beef bone going in as well all we're gonna do clean our bones for about 20 minutes all right if you guys watched my foot challenge and i did show you guys the difference between cleaning your bone and just leaving the pretty much the scum in and you see how the broth goes you must clean your broth okay just 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 follow what i say okay just follow my lips you must clean your bones scrub that meat let's go everybody dump out your impurities Ooh. Dump it all out. And what we're gonna do now, after you guys dump that out, rinse. I show this recipe so many times that you guys gotta, you guys gotta master foot one day, okay? Gonna do rinse your pot with just water. And once you got all that got about ten liters of water in. Once you got that ten liter finalized, all you gotta do. Sorry guys, it's, the pot's are kind of in a tilt right now. Just because the pot's really big because of the brisket. But all we're gonna do, rinse our bones and our brisket and toss it into our clean water, okay? This step of cleaning your bone is very crucial of getting the most golden liquid gold you guys are ever make, all right? So, very crucial. So follow Quantran step, all right? Everybody back in the pool after, after the rinse. Come on, Kevin. How many times have you written this down? Come on, Kevin. Okay, next step, fire. We got one of these grillers. We got one, two, three, and two small onions. So we just use it all. We're just gonna char, broil it. And we got, I wanna say roughly around 10 shallots. Now nine. <laughs> and one beautiful chunk of ginger. Charred up. Here we go, slightly charred into the pool. Follow up with two cups of fish sauce, two tablespoons salt, and five pieces of small or medium small rock sugar in. Boiling time, five to six hours. Four hours in, the brisket is more than enough cooked for it to be sliced in the morning. So this has to completely cool off before you slice it. Some may look at this like, why? Where's the flavor in the brisket? Wait, ladies and gentlemen, wait. This is gonna be the best foot ever. I know I say it a lot of times, but this is gonna be the best foot ever. All right, this is gonna sit a day. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Top of the morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you guys have an anti pot here, so this is the anti pot. All the antis have this pot just to make foot or any types of noodles, Asian noodles, any types of Asian soups. It's in one of these. This is like universal for all the Asians, aunties right here as well. This pot right here. Go to Chinatown and like, Quan. Or no, not Quan. <laughs> Why did I say Quan? Tell the cashier or the clerk. Be like, hey, take a picture of it. Take a picture of this. Look, take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. <laughs> Tell the clerk or the cashier, I need one of these auntie pots. Okay? It's gonna upgrade your Vietnamese soup. 10 times more, all right? So, broth is still a little warm, but it's still a good. Filter that liquid gold, my friend. It's heavy. <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Liquid gold, you did it. Okay, the last thing is this. One small pan, half a cup of coriander seeds in, two black cardamom, eight star anise, three pieces of licorice root, one good piece of cinnamon right here. Toast. Nice and toasty. We're just gonna dump this in and leave this in for about 10 minutes, okay? You can leave it on longer, but I just want slight, not slight, just little essence of it, okay? I want more of the beef taste rather than 
uh, the aromatic so you can leave it in longer right so some of you guys be like come on you should leave it longer and no you can leave it in longer my friend I'm leaving in 10 minutes <laughs> okay, can I get a moment of silence for this please this my friend is liquid gold so when you do cook foot or this is beef brisket foot there is gonna be a layer of fat right on top all you gonna do is take your layer and just skim off some of that fat if you want more fat put the fat in if you like less fat take out the fat all right but just give me a minute for this ladies and gentlemen if you fall every step away you will make liquid gold like quadrant all right or like the Vietnamese people or the Vietnamese auntie okay beautiful ladies and gentlemen the anticipation is here so I even wrapped it up like I've been barbecuing it so we got our bowl of brisket <laughs> why am I laughing why am I laughing bowl of brisket foot is the best or brisket foot is the best of this way you, you make it so rock hard rock solid look you look at this you're like wow Quan, you should just throw that away no no you must follow this step okay kevin write that down okay so you see the lines going this way this is what we're gonna do there's two pieces right here we're just gonna follow this fat line here and we're just gonna cut it down there's a piece that is very juicy and there's a piece that is slightly dry but very juicy as well and all you gotta do right here cut against the grain the reason why we just throw it in the fridge too guys is because we need it to be rock solid like this for it to cut thinly sliced okay that's all it is it might look dry but when that Vietnamese foot bro hit this it's gonna be juicy you know what I'm saying Kevin, write that down. This part is more of a, how would you say, less fat, more leaner cut of the brisket. This part of the brisket, more of a fattier one. So, we're gonna do thinly slices as well, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the juice running down. You might not see it yet. <laughs> When that Vietnamese broth hit it, it's gonna be amazing. Trust me. All right then. Vietnamese pho is very simple to prepare, ladies and gentlemen. So we got cooked noodles. We got slices of onions here. And layer or fan out two types of style brisket. We got the super well done and the fatty. We got green onions on top. A little sauce for this, please. Kevin, please quiet down. Oh my goodness. Please, everybody, put down. Amen. Amen in the comment section. There it is. Brisket foot, you cannot tell me this is what you don't want this Saturday. You want this this Saturday. It's time to go out and make it, my friend. Save some money. <laughs> my beautiful wife. So, beef brisket foot. So, I am using a new noodles. I'm actually tasting a lot of foot noodles. I'm trying to bring back the the memory of foot noodles, but uh, my wife's first time eating brisket foot. She eats a lot of my foot, but I haven't tried my brisket foot. So these noodles, by the looks of it, it looks like it's breaking already. <laughs> so I'm actually trying different, a lot of type different foot because the foot. Mm. Hot. Delicious. <laughs> very good, my love. Yeah. So these are the new uh, noodles I'm trying, my love. Give it a try. Uh, if you guys have a good brand noodles, please put it down there. The brand noodle I used to use, uh, kind of mushy now. So kind of looking for that old school feel. You know what? I'll open, I'll make my own noodles and see how it goes. What do you think of the noodles, my love? Mm. 
Is good. it good? Yeah. Is it good? Good. Really good? <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked too. Good. So, like Thai people, I'd say this. This, this is a Thai brand. This is a Thai brand because a lot of Thai people like Pad Thai and stuff. It's very chewy, and that's what I kind of like. Like chewy, like good texture and everything. So this is a Thai brand noodle. Try the brisket, my love. Look at that brisket. Whee! See that Vietnamese foot or broth that went on it? Now it's nice and melty and glistening. <laughs> it's glistening. Hot. Hot. Now take your time, my love. Don't be like me and just eat and burn your tongue, right? <laughs> be careful. Look at this. Ooh. Mm. Is that fatty? Yeah. Is it too fatty? Should I cut it thinner? Mm. Salty. Mm. Soft. Very soft. Mm. Because that's the new Kobe beef. <laughs> I'll cut it thinner next time. Hmm? Mm. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. look at that broth. See it? It's nice and clear. This is the broth you're looking for, my friends. It has to look like this. It has to look nice and clear like this. Just follow Quan Tran, all right? <laughs> One to ten, my love. Be honest, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, beef brisket foot. So, it feels like out of all the, the cuts a lot of people don't like, well, now a lot of people like, but it seems like the back in the day cuts people don't like is probably the best cuts of beef now. So, ladies and gentlemen, sip on the broth. Quick time. Yeah, it's good. Nice. I'm super pumped for this. <laughs> I'm like tripping out the camera's tripping out. I don't know. Super pumped for this. Amazing. Oh. How can you ruin? That broth with that hoise and the sriracha. Put it on the side, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Heavenly. Heavenly. Okay. Piece of brisket. Quick time. This guy. Nice. Super hot. Beef briskets. Oh. <laughs> I want to say oxtail first, beef brisket next. My favorite foot right there. Third, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out, all right? That broth though. Okay, I got some sriracha and some hoisin on the side. Just a touch. Super pumpkin. Mmm. Here's one question. Do you like my foot the rest of your videos? If so, type down Amen. Type down Amen. This is the linear cut of the brisket. Let's go. Mm. It's still very moist, but it's not compared to the, the fattier piece. Either or, I like both, texture-wise. I'm still in the search for good noodles. My wife really likes these noodles. I said it's pretty good. But I'm still looking for that 
old school type noodles when I was around. <laughs> so the company was still around, but I, I, I'm 100% sure that the company I usually buy from changes the recipe. Mm. Went to Vietnam for a year, came back. Everything's changed. These noodles are good, but I don't like how it just breaks. That's the foot video I make. I'm making foot noodles by hand. <laughs> 